Hello YouTube, Freddy Cardona here. Welcome back to another Driving in the News for the last day of March of 2023. March 31st. And what we are doing today is you're driving, you're riding with me on my commute to work as I listen to the news, thereby recording history. So let's get you right into the news. For many years, you've lived with painful fibroids, the pelvic pain. And of course, we start off with a commercial, <clears throat> but we're here on Lakeview and Crooks. We're headed to my job in Garfield. I want to thank everybody that has been joining me on this uh, journey to record history. <clears throat> we started in September of 2023, recording the news on my commute to work almost daily. There are days that I, I don't go to work, whether... Um, I'm sick, I stay home, or I'm on vacation, or I don't get a chance to drive to work because my car's in the shop. <clears throat> so those are the days that you won't see a news video. These aren't the most exciting videos, but then again, sometimes the news can be pretty boring, sometimes not. All right, guys, enough blabbering. Let's get you the news. 6, 53, 35. Renewal by Anderson just extended their March. I guess I should say, instead of saying, let's get you the news, I should say, let's get you the 1010 wins broadcast, commercials and all. 800-705-7100. That's 1-800-705-7100. We're off to a chilly start this morning. Early sun will fade behind clouds. It'll turn breezy and milder this afternoon. We'll have a shower toward evening, high 56. We'll get up to 70 tomorrow. We'll tell you how you get there in a couple of minutes with Dean DeVore and AccuWeather. Right now, 41 partly cloudy. Humidity at 51. It is 41, and we're going up to 56 in Midtown. I'm Lee Harris. Winds News Time at the Tone, 730. Good morning, I'm Susan Richard, recapping our top story on 1010 Wins. Tuesday's the day Donald Trump's expected to surrender after a grand jury voted to indict him in the Stormy Daniels hush money probe. The terms of that are now being negotiated with his lawyers. The NYPD's upping security. Sources saying all city cops have been ordered to show up this morning in uniform for deployment around town. For his part, Donald Trump blasted the indictment but indicated he would surrender. More now from ABC News. The attorney defending former President Donald Trump against criminal charges in New York City spoke with ABC's George Stephanopoulos. He described the former president's reaction when he learned of the indictment on Thursday. Initially shocked, I will tell you. Um, Why was but, he shocked? But after he got over that initial, you know, you know, George, um, because at the end of the day, we were really hoping and he was hoping that that rule of law would have prevailed. Joe Tacopina called the indictment unprecedented and said the former president will not be handcuffed when he surrenders to authorities. That's expected to take place next week. The NYPD out in full force today in the wake of any possible unrest. ABC's Eric Katursky is outside the courthouse in Lower Manhattan. This courthouse is surrounded by metal barricades. There are a number of police officers on duty out front and of course inside the building. But otherwise, it's quiet as this scene braces for the arrival of a former American American president. With continuing coverage, the indictment of former President Trump, I'm Brian Clark, ABC News. Wins News Time 731, traffic and transit. Here's Karen Stewart. Here's what's going to cost you getting into Manhattan out of G out of New Jersey. The inbound GW Bridge upper level is 50 minutes. The inbound George Lower is 45 minutes. The inbound Lincoln Tunnel has a 25 minute delay, and it's about 25 to inbound of the Holland Tunnel. At the East River, the 59th Street Bridge is one of the heavier East River crossings, especially coming from Queens Boulevard and going across the span. The inbound Brooklyn Battery Tunnel is busy as well. Coming up they must be doing. Uh some type of construction here on River Road, which is, which would explain this this uh, traffic. The westbound Bell Parkway has got heavy traffic now from Springfield Boulevard out to Van Wyck and continuing out to Cross Bay Boulevard. There's a little bit of volume around Flappish Avenue in the westbound direction, but just a little bit. Alternate side parking rules and regulations are in effect today in the city. And with mass transit, the Hudson Line at Metro North has 20 to 30 minute delays. The Flushing Main Street bound seven trains are running with delays as well due to issues at Fifth Avenue. Traffic
Traffic is sponsored by Ramsey Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram. Our next report is 741. I'm Karen Stewart, 1010 Winds on 92.3 FM. It's time to celebrate with amazing savings at Ramsey Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram. And right now, during the Jeep Celebration event, you can save big on all models, like a new 2022 Jeep Compass Limited 4x4. Ramsey Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram. Exceptional people, exceptional deals. Let's head right to AccuWeather and Dean DeVore. All right, uh, the uh, sunshine will fade behind clouds here as we go through the morning into the afternoon. Uh, we're looking at uh, shower chances to go up later this afternoon, this evening. The steadiest rain pockets won't be till later tonight into the day tomorrow. There'll be a couple of them, uh, I think, first thing tomorrow morning, and then I think there's a break where the sun could peak out. That's when we get within a few degrees of 70. Then there's a line of some strong to perhaps severe thunderstorms, some gusty winds, and some, um, some heavier downpours later in the afternoon and evening. Temperatures will then plunge into the upper 30s with a blustery and colder wind tomorrow night. A chilly breeze on Sunday with temperatures up in the low 50s and sunshine. Then it's milder. Low to mid 60s Monday and by Tuesday I think we're making a run at 70 again. This morning out the door 41 degrees and chilly start. Milder though this afternoon as we get up to 56 to 60 as we get those clouds increasing. I'm Mackie with the meteorologist Dean DeVore on New York's weather station. 1010 winds on 92.3 FM. Alright guys. Small snippet a quick snippet of the news for today still a little chilly spring has not sprung and we'll see you guys on the next driving and the news